Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday, June 1st. It is Thursday of the eighth week in ordinary time. It's also uh, my 21st anniversary as a priest today on the Memorial of St. Justin Martyr. So I wanna give a shout out to my classmates from the Diocese of Joliet, Father Dennis Spees, Father John Klein, and Father Tree Tran. Uh, so 21 years, boy, does it fly by. And a little bit about St. Justin Martyr. Um, he was a philosopher, brilliant man, uh, and as he tried to understand life and all the important existential questions, he said, I couldn't find anything better to explain it than Christianity. And so he became a Christian, a Catholic, and continued in his philosophy and debated. Uh, people taught about Jesus and the the logic of Christianity, and he converted many people. He's the patron saint of uh, philosophers and lecturers, professors, and um, he was martyred for his faith in the year 165 under Marcus Aurelius, the, the emperor of Rome. So I'd like to look at this gospel reading today on, on June 1st. Uh, there's three main points I want to talk about here. Uh, so the, the first one is that Jesus heard Bartimaeus, the blind man. Uh, he wanted to engage his will and how faith saved him. So Jesus is leaving Jericho uh, with his disciples and he comes upon a sizable crowd. So now I've played in front of 15,000 people. And when you have 15,000 people, you don't always hear individual voices. You know, it's just kind of like this buzz that you hear all around the stadium. Jesus, however, hears each one of us. So Bartimaeus, a blind man, so Bartimaeus means son of Timaeus. Uh, uh, he sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that Jesus uh, was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. So son of David is a title of the Messiah because we knew that the Messiah would come from the line of David. And so he was recognized who Jesus was and he cried out to him. And people tried to quiet him, right? They tried to tell him to be silent, but he cried out all the more, son of David, Messiah, have pity on me. And Jesus stopped. Now, again, most people, you would just hear just the mass confusion of all the people and just keep on going. So if you ever think, Point number one, if you ever think that your voice is not heard by God, think again. Even though there's seven billion people in the world, your prayers are heard. God knows you. God knows you intimately. He loves you more than you can possibly imagine. And so never think that your voice is silent and God doesn't hear you. And so Jesus stops and says, call him. So they called the man saying to him, take courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. You hear Jesus telling his disciples that often, take courage. The disciples are learning from him saying, you know, this could be a special moment for you, Bartimaeus. And uh, so he threw aside his cloak. He sprang up, came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? Now, this is an interesting question. Point number two, isn't it obvious that a blind man would want to be able to see? But Jesus knows that, but he wants to engage his will. Jesus wants us to be specific with our prayer. You know, if, if, you, if you desire something, pray for it. Ask God for it. Engage your will. If you need healing, ask for it. Now, it doesn't mean that if you don't get healed or don't get what you want, that God doesn't hear you. It just means that God has a different plan. God always, in God's mind, he's always thinking long-term salvation. That's the most important thing. Not short-term, not what we're going to get out of this life but long-term. And so if you don't get what you want, take courage, as they say. God has a plan. God loves you more than you can possibly imagine. So of course, Bartimaeus says, Master, I want to see. My, my will is engaged. And I believe, because he called out, Son of David, I believe in you. And Jesus told him, go your way. Your faith has saved you. That's the third point. So God hears him. God engages his will. And God saves him through faith. So it's faith that saves us. Faith is primordial. Do I believe that God can do anything? 
So let be that prayer. Let that be our prayer today, that we trust that God hears us, that we engage our will, that we be specific about what we would like from the Lord, and then let us have faith and then surrender it to God. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We, we thank you for calling us, for loving us, for hearing us. Lord, we desire for more faith. You know it's on our hearts and we wanna name those things to you today. We ask for specific things and then we surrender them to your will because we trust you that you love us. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune to your families. Buen Camino, and God bless you.